A galvanic cell is made up of two half cells that is two electrodes and as electricity flows in a galvanic cell that means there has to be certain difference in the electrode potential between them. Let me write that. A galvanic cell is made up of two half cells that is two electrodes right and some potential difference or electrode potential some electrode potential difference causes causes the current to flow to flow so i have written here obviously a galvanic cell has two electrodes and they have different electrode potential that causes the electrons to flow as a result of that electricity will flow over there now as they have two different electrode potential then obviously one of them must have higher value of electrode potential another one must have lower value of electrode potential the electrons the electrons move from one electrode from one electrode that is higher electrode potential to another electrode which have lower electrode potential so as you can see over here one of the electrode must have higher value of electrode potential another electrode must have lower value of electrode potential and the electrons move from higher value of electrode potential to the lower value of electrode potential now this difference in the potential causes the electrons to flow right so the difference the difference in the electrode potential causes causes the electrons to flow and that is called electromotive force electromotive force so it is defined as it is defined as as the force which causes the force which causes the electrons electrons to flow in a galvanic cell in a galvanic cell is called okay in a galvanic cell so this is the definition of electromotive force it can also be defined as the difference between the electrode potential of the two cell the difference between the electrode potential of two cells is called e m f electromotive force so you can define e m f in any way you want whichever you feel easy you can write that definition in your examination as well mathematically mathematically this e cell that is the electromotive force or overall potential of cell can be calculated by the formula e reduction minus e oxidation so e reduction means the oxidation potential of reduction half or simply you can say cathode and similarly e oxidation means the electrode potential of oxidation half or you can say 
a node now if you see a cell notation in cell notation let me write the cell notation of galvanic cell in which zinc converts to zn2 plus i am not writing some different information in the bracket co2 plus converts into cu so this is how we write the cell notation of a daniel cell okay this is the daniel cell notation now you can see over here this is the first half this is the second half and always remember the first half is for anode and the second half is for cathode or you can simply understand the first half is always for oxidation and the second half is always for the reduction so here from the formula what do we see first of all it comes reduction then oxidation right so you can simply write the formula e r minus e l r means right value L means left value okay so you can use any formula between them whichever formula you want to use you can use that and you will get the value of oxidation potential of the cell now one more thing we need to understand over here is that the oxidation potential of overall cell depends on the oxidation potential of reduction half and oxidation half in individual state that means when the cell is not working then we need to find the value of e reduction and e oxidation by some method and if we find the value uh, if the if we find the difference of the, their values then we get the value of potential of the overall cell that is a mathematical value and that is calculated by using a potentiometer so this is what the electromotive force actually is i hope you understood everything about electromotive force that's all in this video if you like the video please share this video as much as you can and thank you for watching the video